let's describe pretty much how this range test works. So I've used a scanner as my receiving radio. That doesn't have any kind of fancy aerial on or anything like that. It's really just a standard scanner. And if anyone's questioning sensitivity-wise, because scanners are sometimes not as good, not as sensitive, because they cover a wide range of frequencies, I've tested this and it does pretty much have the same sensitivity as another PMR radio. So I've just taken three PMR radios, in this case the uh, Budget RT24, the Consumer T80, and the Professional slash Business XT420. And I've gone on a walk from the receiving radio and transmitted at various stages. I'm just gonna play those clips to you and at each stage, I'm gonna show you the RF line of sight profile so you can see exactly how far the radios were from the receiver and you can also see the land profile as well so the elevation and how much kind of you know advantage it might have because of height or something like that the receiving end is at a slightly elevated location it just happens to be the where our house is so it's slightly elevated but it certainly isn't the case that all these tests have complete line of sight so this is really an urban test because as i was walking along I was surrounded by buildings. So I'm kind of classing this as an urban slash urban mixed test, I suppose. It's not perfect. They never are. But I'll play you the clips now and you can come to your own conclusion. Test of the rest of it, RT24. XT420, local test. Uh, it's receiving okay. Local test of the... Uh Motorola T80. That's RT24 at 1044 from E East or Motorola XT420 at 1044 from E East or Motorola T80 at 1044 from E East or RT24 at 1047 from CDJ. Well, uh, XT420 at 10.47 from CDJ on the corner of Chantry. Well, uh, T80 at 10.47 from uh, CDJ. Rest of this RT24 at uh, 10.51 just outside Cook and uh, by, the, uh, by the church. Uh, is that still working? Motorola XT420, same location just outside Cook at uh, 10.51, hopefully that's still working too. Motorola T80, location just outside Cook, time roughly 10.51, hopefully that is still working. Rest of this RT24, location just outside Fishers at uh, 10. 54. Motorola XT420, uh, location just outside the uh, fish and chip shop on Highland Crescent at uh, 10.54. Motorola T80, location just outside the fish and chip shop on the corner of Highland Crescent at 10.54. Motorola T24 at uh, start of the run lane at the top of Black Boy. At 10.57. Motorola XT420 at the top of Blackboy, uh, next to the start of the run lane at um, the time of 10.57. Hopefully that still works okay. Motorola T80 at the top of Blackboy, and the time is 10.57, and location, yeah, as I say, just at the start of the run lane. So hopefully that's all working okay too. Uh, 
at uh, 50 meters before the motor crosses the down. And yeah, not sure how well that's done before from this point onwards because we've just come over the top of the hill. the Motorola XT420 at halfway across the second section of the downs and again I have not checked the time. This is a test of the Motorola T80 from halfway across the second section of the downs and again I have not checked the time uh, so no luck I'm afraid. So this is a test of the RT24 and this is pretty much the further location. And this is the Motorola XT420 on uh, the furthest location on this test, on the far side of the downs, the end of the path by down the Downley Road, is it? Not sure. But um, hopefully this will still be picked up, to some extent anyway. And this is a test of the Motorola T80 at uh, the far side of the downs, so pretty much the furthest location I'm going to do today, maybe to a little, if I walk over to there, that might be a bit further, anyway, that's about the furthest I'm going to do on this test, so hopefully this is still being received. So no surprises here. The performance of these radios are virtually identical. There is nothing in it. And unless you start changing the antennas on these radios, they are, that, I think that is going to be the case. It doesn't matter whether you pay £10 for a radio, really, or £150 for a radio. The transmit performance is virtually the same certainly between these three anyway and i would have expected that totally what does differ however as you can tell quite clearly on these clips is the audio quality and the audio quality makes a massive difference because when your noise level comes up and you're further away and you've got more interference having a clear radio and having good level good sort of um audio levels and clear audio makes a big difference. It means you can hear the person versus not hearing the person. There you go. I mean, there are differences between them, but other than that, as far as RF performance goes, they're pretty much identical. Nothing exciting, no surprising results, but hope you enjoyed the test anyway. Thanks for watching. See you soon.